Okay, so I just got an email from Google 37 minutes ago. Um, they said, hi, we have some good news for you. Our team has reviewed your account based on your detailed appeal and we're happy to let you know that it's been reactivated. You can now use it to advertise again. Thank you for waiting while we review your appeal and we're sorry if this caused you any disruption. You know, I've been going back and forth with Google about this appeal for several months and I completely just changed my strategy on how to get my account back three days ago. Um, I'm going to share the exact message that I sent them and it could probably work out the same for you. I think there's a, you know, probably 75% chance because everything else that I tried prior to this, it didn't work. So let's jump into it. Okay. So before I go into the, the short little appeal that I sent them three days ago, which I'm actually surprised that it worked out this well and this fast, it was literally three days. You want to actually make sure that there's nothing wrong with your account that, you know, someone didn't actually try to hack your account or, you know, suspicious payments, or you're not accidentally breaking any one of Google's terms of service um, because they update them so, freaking, so frequently and you may not be, you know, up to date on all of that. But besides that, you know, Google just, they automatically suspend your account with bot, with bots. Like it's not a manual process to review and be like, unless you're doing something completely illegal, but usually it's a bot that just goes through and suspend your account unless manual actions have been taken against your account. So I made it, you know, in the last few months, I've read pretty much everything about the Google ad account suspensions, why accounts get suspended, their terms of service and everything I could possibly relate it to. And I realized that my account didn't break any of their rules. There was no reason for my account to get suspended and i just decided to just tell them straightforward that look nothing's wrong with my account because they said suspicious payments and my account was suspended so i just responded to them this is the exact um message that i submitted if you go log into google account and it says account suspend you click on the top and it says submit appeal you'll get a little form that you can fill everything out and this is pretty much just me making talk talking points from the form that was submitted um, I don't have access to this form anymore because I already submitted appeal and the account was reinstated. But I, all I said was in the additional details in the bottom, I said my account was suspended for quote unquote suspicious payments due to the card being used in multiple accounts with the same billing information. In this case, multiple accounts mean that there are multiple emails that can be used to log into the same account. Um, for me, I have my, you know, businessname.com email and also one of my personal you know my personal emails attached to this one this one google ads account so i can log into the same account from multiple different email addresses and you know that identified as multiple users or multiples account even though it's just one account so that's why i said this in the beginning that's the only thing that i could come up with like why would it you know flag it for suspicious payment payments if it's just me using it from the same account and i said the card unfiled does belong to you know my llc for the business and no suspicious payments have occurred so i'm just explaining to them that look no suspicious payments occurred i know that you flagged the account for it but i actually checked and nothing has happened and i said i'll attach a screenshot from my banking statement to show the most recent payment the most recent google ad charges and i went to my business bank account i searched in google ads and it showed every single the the most recent google ads payment which was from last year took a screenshot of it attached it and then i said would also attach another screenshot of previous cards that were used briefly on my account so if you have multiple cards in your account just take you know take a screenshot of every account for every card so let's say you're using shopify balance and you have your statement charges in shopify from this card you can go into your shopify balance account search it look at your statement history and search in google get the ad charges or any account that you're using so pretty much every card that you have linked to the account that is being charged for something just get screenshots from your actual bank accounts and attach them and then send it off to them you want to actually explain to them that this is not a suspicious payment activity and you meant to do these things on purpose and these things happen and you can account for all these things so nothing you know your account's not being hacked and everything and i think that's i, I didn't think i needed to add anything more to this and luckily for me it worked um I'll leave a copy of this. I'll just leave this in the description if you guys literally just want to copy this and put it in your own whatever the case is and send it and see if you get an and see if you get your account um, reactivated. Um, I think you should give it a shot if you've tried something before and it hasn't worked because once that once one appeal is closed, you can continuously appeal suspensions. Um, hopefully this is helpful for you guys and catch you guys later. Peace.